Right now, the Florida Department of Transportation is updating people on the project to bring down the Hart Bridge ramps. The ramps would come down from Intuition Ale Works on A. Philip Randolph to the stadium, the football stadium. New at 5:30, Action News Jack's Beth Rousseau is live in Mixon Town, and Beth, the project is slated to begin early next year. And there are still a number of questions about this plan, which is why you're seeing such a good turnout here at this open house. After getting a good look at the proposal, they can come right over here, post their comments and concerns, and put them right here in this box, which is actually quite full. Right now, I want to go ahead and pull up some renderings of these proposals to give you a better idea of what this is going to look like. The proposal would demolish the ramp west of A. Philip Randolph to east of Festival Park Avenue and construct a new configuration. Diverting traffic to the stadium, Tallyrand Port area, and Metropolitan Park. Action News Jax told you in December when the rest of the funding to remove the Hart Bridge ramps was approved. Jaguars owner Shad Khan originally made the proposal, which Mayor Lenny Curry backed, saying the ramps allow drivers to bypass portions of downtown. Right now, FDOT is doing a study on the Hart Bridge ramps to Liberty Street. Now, I have been talking to families here who have some concerns about this project. Take a listen. There's several issues involved here. First off, does it improve uh, pedestrian bicycle safety? I would say no. Does it reduce congestion and improve air quality? I would say no. So we're speaking to more neighbors about their concerns as well as leaders with FDOT. We're going to hear from them coming up on Action News Jacks at 10. We're live in Mixon Town, Beth Russo, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.